Welcome back. So now what we need to do is that we need to get the text from this input whenever the user types something. So if I click here on send, it's just going to display this uh, popped up window and we don't want that. Instead, we want to get the text from this input. So how can we do that? To do that, we need to make reference to this input in order to be able to access whatever the user has typed here. So remember, if you go back to the index.ejs, you'll find that this input, this input, we have given it an ID of text box. So we, we can make reference to it in the script here. In the script, we can say var and then text box, and then the text box is going to be equal to document dot get element by ID, and then the ID is text box. And now we can get the text from this text from this text box from from this from from this callback of the of the click event of the send button. So instead of saying here, instead of saying instead of displaying uh, instead of saying um, button clicked here in this alert, I'm going to remove it. And instead, I'm going to display the message that the user is going to type here. That the user is going to type here. So how can we get the text? To get the text, first we need to say, we need here to say, we need to say text box, text box dot value, dot value. That way I will be able to here dot value that way I will be able to get the um, to get the value from that text box so I'm gonna say text text box text box dot value and then I'm gonna store the value in a in a variable called text and finally I'm gonna display that text in the alert I'm gonna say here text let me now save and let's head on over to the browser to test so now in the browser if I refresh and if I click on if I type something, let me say here, hi, and if I click on send, here it's going to say hi. If I say welcome, welcome, and then if I, if I click on send, it's going to say here, welcome. So it means now, it means that whatever the user, the user is going to type here, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be um, uh, pulled out by the script. So the script now has access to this, to, to the text that the user is going to type here, which means that the script will be able to send that text to the chat bot.